What's up guys? My name is Ray. Today I'm gonna share a little bit of motorcycle story. Last year I decided to do track. And then down the road I got into getting my racing license. I can tell you this, it's really fun doing that. If you want to really feel or really feel your bike to know about riding, the only place you can do that is the racetrack. Um, so, actually, if you want to learn about knee dragging, all that stuff, how to be a safe rider, you can only do that on the track. So I have a S1000 race bike. Due to some priorities, needing a fund, I had to let go one of the bikes. I um, actually have two. Um, one of my favorite bikes is the S1000. Three days ago, I had to let it go, but it's all good. I know there's bigger opportunity that's gonna come. But then, the good thing is, I still have another bike, which is the R1. However, the R1 is only set up for street riding, and the way I ride right now, uh, I don't think I'll be comfortable riding on the R1, which is just a uh, street setup. So it took me a week. So finally I come up with the decision of I think I'm gonna quit street riding for now and convert the Yamaha R1 to being a, like a track bike or a race bike. So that's a little story about it and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, clips videos of how I'm gonna convert that so if you guys are interested in that probably this will have a two-part channel I mean two-part channel two two-part video uh, maybe removing all the fairings and maybe three days later I'm gonna take more videos about it and then I'm gonna show you how it turns out okay before and after videos okay stay tuned guys thank you very much for watching um, hopefully you like this content so give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe. This is my first vlog. And I hope it turns out good. And that's it. Peace out. Okay, so that's the R1. So what happened on this, I removed my ECU because I'm sending it for flash tune and then I will get a some quick shifter that way I can use it for better riding I think because I'm so used to the S1000 having a quick shifting so I'm sure you guys know about quick shifting and I think that's the perks but anyway so I'm gonna start doing this removing all the fairings and then take some videos all right, cheers guys.
about 30 to 40 minutes. So the old fairing that was there, uh, I installed that maybe a year, two years ago. Because I had a crash at the track, the bike used to be red. So I purchased a new fairing to put that in there. So like I said, I'm transforming this bike to a track bike now. And pretty much it's gonna take a couple more days how all this is gonna turn out. But removing fairings is pretty straightforward. Um, just a couple bolts here, here and there. Uh, let me show you the tool that I use. So if you're a little bit of worried or scared of how to remove fairings, bro, it's pretty much easy, straightforward. Um, the first time I did it, it took me an hour and a half, but right now it took me what, 30 to 40 minutes to take it out. Um, so I, let me just point out some um, areas of this bike where all those bolts are. That way you're not wondering where you're at. So I'm sure you recognize this. Um, I only use this tool to remove that. And then these other ones right here that hold the headlight housing. So if you go on this, ooh, let me show you. If you go on this side, so it's just basically letting loose, right? Okay. So the steps I did is I removed the side, side bearing or side panel, removed the belly pan, and I worked my way around removing the the fender. Then I removed that top part right there. Um, what's next? So I changed, I removed the seats, the back seats, there's two bolts in here. And then I loosen this up, slide down the bottom tail, um, and then I remove the top tail part of that phase. Okay, so next step will be I gotta wait three more days. And so the, the new racetrack variance comes in and it should come with matte black. I will take um, I will take out my wheels on the rear and I'm gonna have it painted um, or I'm gonna paint it. Um, it's like a neon green or neon yellow green. It's like a Valentino Rossi green. I used this company in Canada. Um, if you follow them up, I think they, the, the name is called Super Wrap. Um, I really liked it. I used the paint before. It's like a it's like a plastic bit that you can always remove the paint whenever you want to change colors and stuff. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. So on my car, I have a what do you call this? A uh, Gunmetal color. It came out nice. Yeah. So I want to give it a try. Oh my god, car is so dirty. It rained the other day. Uh, oh well. It's black. They always get dirty. I don't care about that. Anyway, go back to the bike. So I used that paint before. I liked it. So I want to try painting my wheels now and see how it's going to turn out. Okay, so this is the first part of the video um, and then I'm gonna post another video of putting everything back and hopefully I finish it before our track day. We have track day coming up um, in the next 14 days and I wanna see how the bike is gonna look for, for, uh, for that conversion, you know. So. Uh, if you guys like this content, you know, leave subscribe, thumbs up. Um, this is my first time doing a blog. I'm not really, really good at it, but you know. But shoot me a comment or a leave a review. Not a review. What the hell? Not review. Um, it's like a comment. See what you guys think. If you like this kind of video. Or if you have any questions whatsoever, um, 
subscribe, man. Like, hopefully I can keep this going and definitely help a lot. Uh, but I'm trying to do. So this is all love and passion about motorcycles. That's all I'm gonna do on this channel. So much. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and be safe and peace out.